right, first and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. That's the name of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. We are the Sakari Atlanta. All right, we come out here week in and week out, prophesy the uprising of blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, the true Israelites of the Bible. That's right. All right, and the downfall and destruction of America, aka, according to the Bible, is Babylon the Great. That's right. That's right. And what we got to realize today is, man, we've been hoodwinked, bamboozled, whatever you want to call it, about who we are. Okay, and we got people coming from all over the world claiming to be the people that we are. Okay, claiming the titles that we've been forced, such as African American, such as blacks, okay, such as Hispanics, Native Americans, all these titles everybody can have. But according to the Bible, nobody can be the descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob but you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that suffered in this land. That's right. right. We got to come out here and teach our people the truth because the truth is going to make you free. That's While right. you're walking with the enemy, we're supposed to be walking with each other in truth and sincerity. That's right. Bring it out. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 2. Bring it out. Speak unto all the congregation of the children of Israel and say unto them, Ye shall be holy. For I, the Lord your God, am holy. He said that we are holy, all right? You blacks and Hispanics and Native Americans are holy unto the Lord. Right. When they, when you hear people using the terminology, oh, being holier than now, y'all being holier than now, hey, we're commanded to be. That's right. Okay? So we're not walking in the ways of the world and being wicked, uh, 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 wicked than thou. Or how, how do you say it more, more wicked than thou? Y'all rather be more wicked than thou than being holy, which is commanded of us, right? Nah. And we're and, and being holy is being separate un, uh, uh, from um, uh, amongst the world, amongst the other nations. The other nations gonna have you going off when you following behind them, right? Nah. Is there more on that? Okay, bring 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 this out. This is how we this is how we gotta learn to be holy. <laughs> the Book of Deuteronomy, chapter four, verse five. Uh -huh. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments. The Lord taught us statutes and judgments. Bring it out, all. Even as the Lord my God commanded me, uh -huh. that you should do so in the land whither you go to possess it. So when we in the land, whether we was going to go to possess it, we had to learn statutes and judgments. Not walking around after the other right. nations, Bring man. That out, and a lot of our people walk after the, the customs of the other nations. You see, uh, Edomite with colorful hair. Now our, our sisters want to wear colorful hair. Right? right, when you got beautiful black hair, right? You want to put blonde in your hair, Already but you got beautiful color. black hair, right? That's following after the customers of the nations, right? Read on. Verse six, keep therefore and do them. We're supposed to keep therefore these customs and do them. The, the first five books of the Bible are, are our law, statutes, and commandments, but we walk up and down the streets and don't want to hear not one, not one. Because you want to be more, you want to be most wicked than thou, rather than holier than thou, right? For this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations. This is going to be our wisdom and understanding in the sight of the nations. This is going to be our wisdom in the sight of the Edomites, in the sight of the Moabites, in the sight of the so-called Africans. Okay, that that sold us into slavery, sold us to the enemy to go into slavery, right? But we are the same. We all going to be saved. That's not what the Bible says. Right? Which shall hear all these statutes and say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. This nation of people that's coming out, the world works on every Saturday, is a wise and understanding people. That's what the scriptures is telling us. That's what we're supposed to be walking after the ways of, man, because he commanded us to be holy. Right? Bring it out. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 14, verse 2. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. Uh -huh. The Lord hath chosen thee to be a peculiar people unto himself, uh -huh. above all the nations that are upon the earth. A peculiar people. These people you see on this sign are a peculiar people, man. A, 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 what peculiar mean is a, a special treasure to the Lord, right? You blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are a treasure to the Lord. So we have to learn what we're supposed to do in the sight of the Lord, right? 
and not going after our own ways, right? It's the, oh, hold on one second. Bring that up. It's Deuteronomy 76. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. Uh -huh. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. Uh -huh. It's not, oh, you trying to be holier than thou. You are holier than thou. Right. You the most holiest people on the face of the earth, man. Right. Why you think we got uh, the number one MVP in the basketball league? Talk about Why you think we got the, the Heisman trophies uh, uh, of, our, of our people um, with the, tro you know, th these are our people, man. Okay? For thou art a holy people, man, a separate people, man. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Above all people upon the face of the earth, and that's a possessive uh, 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 term to say that we're better than them. We're better than these people, man. We don't have to follow somebody else's ideology and philosophies to be like them when he said that we were uh, above all people upon the face of the earth, right? You got a, you got a scripture? This is the book of First Peter, chapter 2, verse 9. Uh -huh. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Right. Right. We are this peculiar nation, man, and we got to come back to our heritage, which is the law, statutes, and commandments, man. This is the only way we're going to survive this, man. We're seeing the world come crumbling down right before our eyes, and yet we are walking docile, walking docile in our own imaginations, man. And that's wicked in the sight of the Lord when you disregard his word, right? So what do we got to do? Week in and week out, we got to come out here and we have to teach you people the good news, man. The good news is that when all hell breaks loose, we get delivered out of here, man. We get delivered out of here and we get to go home, man. This ain't our rest. Bring it up. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 66. Uh -huh. Teach me good judgment and knowledge, for I have believed thy commandments. It says, teach me good judgment and knowledge. For, for, read again. Teach me good judgment and knowledge, uh -huh. for I have believed thy commandments. Right, we got to come back and believe in these commandments, man, because the judgments is coming. What's good, man? What's good is when the Most High says, look, look, I don't care how good you say you are. If you ain't keeping these law, statutes, and commandments, I ain't got, I, I don't want to have nothing to do with you. It's, it's, it's a, a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the Lord. So it's a good thing when he take you out for not following his word, right? Verse 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice. Now, we got to present our, our bodies as living sacrifices, okay? Meaning we got to come out here to you to you people and, and to our people, which is the Black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, let them know that you are God's chosen people. That's right. And you have an obligation, and you say you believe in God, so you have to believe on his word as well. Wow. So we have to tell you that. Holy. Acceptable unto God. When I were holy again, uh oh, holy. Oh, you want to be holier than thou, but here it says we was what? Read again. Holy, acceptable unto God. We got to be holy and acceptable to God and teach you people that that's who you are. Okay? That's who you are, not the title black, African American. Because the Edomite came up here the other day and said he was from Africa, South Africa. So he came in over here with the same title or same identity as your so-called blacks. And then they want to get mad when you say, you know what, keep that title. That's not me. I'm a Hebrew Israelite according to the Bible. That's right. Hey, they can say they Hebrews, but they're not Israelites. <laughs> right? Yeah. Which is your reasonable service. This is our reasonable service. Verse 2, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Con, con. Okay, con. All praises. Uh, read that one part again. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. So we come out here and we teach you so you can be transformed and renew your mind from what you've been taught. Okay? What you've been taught was that you was a black man or you was an African-American man, woman, and child. No, you are the Israelites according to the Bible. The 12 tribes of Israel, man. When y'all walked up and down the streets and you see our people trying to tell you that, you should all, you ought to stop and listen. All right? Stop and pay attention, man, because we your brothers, man. That's it. Bring it up. 
This is the book of Romans, chapter 9, verse 1. Uh -huh. I say the truth in Christ. I lie not. Uh -huh. My conscience also bear me witness in the Holy Ghost. Uh -huh. That I have, verse 2, that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. For I could wish that myself were a curse from Christ for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. My brother and my kinsmen, according to the flesh. Uh-huh. Go on. Who are Israelite? Who are who? Who are Israelite? Who are Israelites? So we going out to you, brother. We going out to you, sister. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You see on this sign, who are the Israelites? <laughs> not those people. Not them Khazars that's over in our land today. Okay, that that was funding us to be slaves here in America. Them not the real people of the Bible, man. It's us, man. Look at us, man. You got people sagging tight pants. Okay, women dressing provocatively, okay, not modestly, like the sisters that wake up into the truth and they, they, they adorn themselves in modest apparel, they, because they came and they uh, was renewed in the mind. They renewed their mind and they decide not to walk like a whore or a harlot. They, they wanted to walk after a daughter of Zion, a princess, according to the Bible. And the brothers is wearing war-like garments, man. We out here ready for war, man, because this is the army of the Lord, man. That's right. Shalom, what's going on? It's your brother, Chief Priest Allah Zabon Lawyer, a.k.a. the Gorilla Hebrew. And I'm just letting y'all know, I just dropped my official clothing line, Urban Gorilla. Go to UrbanGorilla.com right now to check us out, man, and pick something up. That's U-R-B-N-G-R-L-A.com. We got all kind of items for men, women, children, even infants, as well as fragrance oil, smell goods. You can also check out Hebrew Israelite Clothing Co., another Sakari business on Instagram and Facebook. And as always, you can hit up DeaconSakari.com to get your plug on the scars, the music, and the children's Bible. Thanks for your time. All praise to the Most High. Kwam Yasharala. Shalom.